Hi guys, Steph here, and what we've got today is another one finished from my recent pen find. And what we have here, hee hee, absolutely gorgeous. What we have is a Mentmore Imperial Fountain Pen. This one actually, as we'll show you in a moment, is actually a button filler. Now, the Mentmore pens, they're not well, they're not as renowned, if you like, as sort of the everyday sort of manufacturers, but the Mentmore pens were made, or they were part of the Platinum uh, family. Um, I believe they, they made pens from the 1920s all the way through to around about the 1950s. Now, I'm not sure who owned who, whether Platinum, Platinum owned Mentmore or vice versa. Uh, there's not a lot of information regarding this particular manufacturer uh, but suffice to say in this particular case if you look at this pen um, quality wise and beauty wise it's as nice as some of the other pens I've had from the same era an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen as you can see it comes in this this green snakeskin effect which well the pattern itself is very, very much sought after. Um, and also, well, it's sought after in any pen, but with it being this particular Mentmore Imperial, um, makes it quite, well, I wouldn't say a rare pen, but I believe to be a very sought after pen. In absolutely superb condition, it's been fully restored, fully serviced. Um, again, just coming back to um, the manufacturer of Mentmore, in the sort of the late 1940s, I believe the, this is one of actually the top of the range pens, which they also brought out a Mentmore Diploma, another one what they termed as an Auto Flow. I believe they brought out a pen called the Mentmore Supreme, and as we say, this particular one is a Mentmore Imperial. All these pens were actually, if you like, in, in that particular era were actually the top of the range pens for the Mentmore company. So, so here we have it, the Mentmore Imperial. Size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, approximately 124 millimeters capped. Around the diameter of the barrel here, it's quite a nice chunky 11.9 millimeters in diameter. As we said, this is a button filler, which we'll show in a moment. The trim on this pen is actually this chrome plated or this nickel plated trim if we show you the uh, the cap bands you can see it's got these three chrome like uh, cap bands there's the clip to the top there it's a chrome a chrome clip if you look to the top you can see it's got a letter M for Mentmore and then to the very top we've got this black cap stud as I say, all in all, in absolutely beautiful condition, fully restored, um, new sack installed, etc, etc. Let's show you the pen in different angles. It's an absolutely lovely, lovely pen. As I say, it put a lot of the pens of that era to shame, I believe. In lovely condition. You can see the section there, it's got this slightly concaved section to the very top and then if we show you the nib keep it nice and still for you what we have there is a Mentmore warranted 14 karat gold gold nib if we turn it over to it for you you can see it's got the um, the sort of finned or the comb feed underneath there now the only downfall with these particular pens that the well that the feed was actually quite that the comb or the the fins if you like were quite fragile and thin and as you can see hopefully on this one there's a couple of fins that are actually missing or they had a tendency to actually break off so that was the only downfall with this particular pen if we do that hopefully you can see it a little bit better as i say the fins were very very thin um, and when you actually find them in the wild you'll find that a lot of them have actually got the fins broken off whether it actually affects the writer or not um, we'll see in a moment as I say what we have here is a button filler and you can see it's got this blind cap to the bottom here 
so if we actually unscrew that and underneath you can see it's got this plastic um, plastic plunger and I don't know if you can actually see to the very top of the plunger there um, it's actually patented by Mentmo it's actually, I think it says patented or whatever the whatever the wording is to the top there so what they actually did they actually patented this particular plunger okay so actually what we'll do while we've got the plum uh, the blind cap off let's bring on some ink what we do dip the ink in the in the uh, sorry dip the nib in the ink press down numerous times on the plunger I'll just do it once or twice just for this uh, particular writing sample there we go again plenty of bubbles which sounds hunky dory I've just got a little bit of ink on my fingers and then what we do is just simply screw back sorry screw back the blind cap like so and let's bring on some sorry I'm just a little bit disorganized so there we go, we've got a little bit of bubbling there so let's see if it writes so what we have is a Mentmore Imperial it's actually a nice writer and I think the nib looks to be slightly oblique and not only that if we do the figures of eights we're getting a bit of line variation so on the downward stroke there with a little bit of pressure we're getting quite a broad line as you can see there on the cross stroke there a fine line so what we have is a nice flexi nib with variation um, this particular pen I will date in the regions of about I don't know 1940s to maybe just getting on to the early 1950s but I would say more in the 1940s a lovely lovely writer as you can see there by the writing sample we're getting quite a variation on the line which is absolutely lovely a very very nice writer so there we have it the Mentmore Imperial from I don't know around about the 1940s as we said earlier in this very attractive and in my opinion very sought after snakeskin actually one thing I've not actually shown you if we can find it over the camera just bear with me it's always a little bit difficult working uh, working over the camera I think that's it there you can see there the imprint is nice and clear it says Mentmore Imperial and then underneath it made in England and also you can see there the pattern absolutely lovely this lovely green green snakeskin pattern as I say an absolutely stunning pen and this particular pen although it's not a very sought after model although there is actually followers of the Mentmore pens out there a very collectible pen and very sought after in this uh, in this particular pattern and colour but as I said earlier I think it would actually put some of the the pens of the era to shame nice quality pen so I hope you've enjoyed looking at it as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you loads of videos as I say always go and take a look leave a comment but for now I'll just say ta-da now